iTunes. Morning, everybody. Morning. It is Tuesday. It is all day. <laughs> um, and it's that mild I am going down to the van oh. to clean it. Oh, yeah. I am. Yeah. I've been waiting for a a mild a day. milder day. <clears throat> I won't say it's mild. Milder. Yeah. There's the gentleman in the blue coat going down. Oh, yeah. With his what doggy. If he changes his coat we probably won't recognise him. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. I knew that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'd like some help with the van. I'd like to come down and do that for you. Well. I don't know. You could do if you wanted. Okay. You will then. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thinking of putting eating on for a bit. Yeah, then you should do, yeah. Well, then we can put a kettle on and warm some water. Yeah, have a drink. Yeah. I'll give you some hot water for washing. Yeah, well, I've got, I brought that container up with me, so I'm going <coughs> to fill it. Fill it with hot water from the tap. All oh, right. To take it down with me. Um, did a shopping yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Spent hundred quid. Just like that. Mm. Sure can. And don't buy everything that you think you need. No. I always forget some that. Um. I mean, I, it was. Cost now um, to go out in the van. <clears throat> I mean, I know when we're here, mm. um, pay Tracy um, what what we what we budget for site fees. Yeah, and then you spend all our all our full budget. Yeah. Um, every week when we're here, on just buying food. Mm. Um, but when we're out, I reckon. So that's like two hundred and twenty pound a week. But when we're out, mm. I bet now. I bet we're going to spend. Well, sometimes we you have some that left over if you don't pay. Full for for sites, but I reckon you're going to spend all your money now on sites, don't you? Oh, more, mm. oh, more. Uh, I doubt <clears throat> if I'll have it. Uh, I mean, it, well, I'll spend more than £110 a week on site fees now, I think. Mm. Probably more, more 140 50 Right. Um, <clears throat> 260 and that's not 260 a week and that's not counting fuel mm. um, and gas mm. Mm. Um, mm. Now, okay. funny, okay. I, um, I was looking at a couple of old videos and one of them um, was called Solar on our van. You can search for that. Mm. Just type it in in the search bar. Solar on our van. When I put, so it must have been this time, two years ago. Oh, when you put that solar panel on. Mm. Wow. I put a solar panel on the roof, hundred watt. We've got a new, brand new battery, but it's only a hundred and ten amp hours battery. Um. 
Because when we bought the van, it only had an 80 amp hour battery in it. Although it won't you, mm. it won't enough. Um, and I wired it up, I wired it to a controller and then wired it from the controller to two. It was a controller where you could split off to two and I wired it into the leisure battery and then then to the engine battery as well. So the engine battery is always fully charged. Yeah. Um, and we, we went, the first time we tried it out, we went, we went, we went did a tour of Devon. Mm. And we went to a little, a, a little site that had no electric. Oh. It just had um, a Nelson and a tap. We're in, we're in a field on our own, just on edge of a little village. Yeah. Um, and we booked three days there. It was ten pound a night. We booked three days there. So there's a little film of it um, on that solar on our van. Um, and we were fine for two days, but on the third day, <clears throat> I had to keep starting the engine up. Yeah. It got really low. Started flashing yellow. Yeah. Um, so it won't go. It, we did two days, and I don't even know how we did two days. I suppose because no, it was it was a lovely <coughs> sunny day. Yeah. I think I think it was sunny for two days. I think the third day was cloudy. Right. So it was charging it. Yeah, we did two days, and the third day we struggled. Mm. <clears throat> but we've done less than that. Yeah. And, you know, struggle. Struggle. Um, that was a nice, <coughs> a nice village. They had a little shop, didn't they? Yeah. It was during, it was during COVID, COVID, so... Because you couldn't go in the shop. No. You had to <coughs> stand just, just, because uh, you could, originally, I think you could go around the shop. <coughs> but she put a table. Yeah, she'd put a table and uh, so you couldn't go around, you just had to tell her what you wanted and that. Yeah. Mm. She brought it. She brought it to you. To do it, yeah. Mm. And there were a little pub. Yeah. I think we had a meal in there. Did we have a meal in there? <coughs> yeah. yeah, I think we did. Yeah. We had a walk, good walk round, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it was. What's Good Friday? <coughs> That's March, isn't it? Yeah, I think. I don't know whether it was. Then. March time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think, because we 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 were locked up. That's why yeah. I did it. I did it in lockdown. I put the <coughs> put the solar on the roof during lockdown. Hmm. Um. Give me something to do, and I, I wanted to. And it needs more doing to it. It really needs two batteries. Yeah, but you have to buy the two together, haven't you? You can't have two unequal batteries. You've no. got to. And I, when I thought, I thought, well, I don't have to buy another two when it's only fairly new. Mm. The one I've got, and there's. The, the the battery the leisure battery is kind of in a a little compartment of its own that's yeah, slung sort room. of underneath the van. You get to it under the bench seat, but it lives on. It's good. it's got its own compartment. Yeah, isn't it? It, the top of the battery sort of flush with floor. floor. Mm. Um, so there's only to, enough room for one. There's battery. only enough room for one battery, so I'd have to. Put the other battery in the, the compartment in the under compartment. the bed there, mm. really. Yeah. Mm. Um, which ain't a problem. I yeah. suppose you could do that. Yeah. Really. Um, it could do with two. Mm. 
think we've done it from Go Outdoors, didn't we? Yeah. That new one. We had a sale on. Sale on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And there were also another another video called New Curtains for the Van. <laughs> And to give you something to do, yeah, you made some lockdown. new curtains. We've got some cushions and and some mat curtain material to match the cushions, and you mm. made new curtains and a tie backs. Mm. What van? I had to use the original tie backs, but I covered, I covered the the original ones with the with the material. <coughs> yeah. That one's called New Curtains for the Van. Hmm. If you want me to have a look at that. Yeah. Hmm. Anything else? Got ten orders for the book. Ten? Ten. Oh, that's a so so all ten that I've sent for have all been spoken for. Right. So I'm going to send for some more, but I'll wait a bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long these right. will take to come. No. Oh. Hopefully not too long. Mark's ordered one and he says he'll come and pick it up. Oh. So he only lives in, in Oxford. Oh, that would be so good. So yeah. I invited them for a meal. All right, that's nice. I said, if you're going to come and pick book up, would you like to have a meal with us? Right. So I said, that's yes. That's good. So we'll organise that when the books come. Right. And I've ordered some proper cardboard envelopes. Yeah. Ready to send them off. We were looking yesterday at them, weren't we? I've ordered some yeah, online, they're coming today. Right. Yeah, they won't. We'll go through the letter box if they're both not in. Oh, God, if I. If they come today. Mm. Well, they're supposed to be coming before 12, I think. All right. I never thought of that. That's okay, because she didn't know we were going to come with you. Mm. Right. Mind you, if you've been at it, and they might, you might not hear it. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, well, I wouldn't go up in the attic until they'd been, if I were here. Well, hopefully they'll come. I think, yeah. there's a, I think they sent me a tracking code. Right. So I'll, I'll have a look, see where they are. Okay. Um. A letter. Got a letter here. A letter from America. Oh, I'm trying to think of words to slow boat to China last night. Why? <laughs> Just come into my head when I was sat in the room with Tracy. I'd like to get on a slow boat to, to China. China. All Hold to someone. myself alone. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I know next few words if I sing it. But then I can't mm. remember others. Mm. This is written by you. All right. On the 18th of March, 1968. When was the last one? 15. You wrote to me. Mm. Darling Trev, your letters were delivered by your Stan on Tuesday night, that's my brother, but I was out when he called, as Mum and I had gone to Jimmy Windsor's, well, the booking office, where, where she was working. I don't know. She would said she'd got a job at yeah, yeah. Jimmy Windsor's, at Bucky's. Mm. I had a great time. Oh, that's oh, when no. one act got down, another one got up. Oh, it's... They were all very good. It must have been a club. Club? Yeah. Jimmy Windsor's club? Yeah. Oh. Mm. I only had two lime and lemons and one baby shell. Anyway, love, to get back to your letter, thanks for sending two. I just couldn't help smiling as I read them. They were so nice and it made me happy just to read what you would put. I love you very much. I think I found out that there is no one else quite like you. 
you're just great. No one in the world could take your place, love, as I found out on Sunday. Yeah. Did I ring you? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, you know the bloke in that. Oh, club. that fella, that, yeah. I can't bear anyone else even to touch me, as I felt sick when Roger got hold of my hand. Oh, and about that, please don't get upset about that, will you, love? As I put him in his place, and you know I wouldn't go do anything daft. Like June or Jean, don't you love? Anyway, he isn't a fat John you love. In fact, he was quite ugly. Uh. <laughs> I aren't saying anything about the mail as I don't know what happened to it. So I just aren't going to say. And I do see your point of view. So don't worry as I love you. And I don't mind you. <laughs> the mail. Well, look what's come. I think. No, I don't think that's envelopes. Do that's you? not envelopes, is it? Yeah. Why is it? Oh, I spell it. I'm just wondering if it's my books. Wow. Oh. Shall I open it? Turn isn't it? Right, yeah, just turn around a bit. There we No, it's the envelopes. Is it the envelopes? Oh, you got all excited there. I did, yeah. I thought it can't be the, the, I mean, the, I only ordered them Friday, so. Oh, are they big enough? Should be. Uh, the, the measurements, I bet. Did the measurement? Be up to the air after all that. They're getting all the luck. The smell. <laughs> oh, they're not the books. I got too excited there. Yeah. That's the envelope. I didn't think they'd be that heavy. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they're um, nine by six. Um, the measurements, so they should, should be. Right. They haven't taken long to come on them. No, they haven't. Um, all the odd, what it used to do. Wow. Um, I don't have to worry about that, that then. No. Um, <clears throat> Where were I? Somewhere down here. Well, I. Oh. Right. I have asked, ma'am. To you. Oh, don't worry, as I love you, and I don't mind you sending my mail to your mum and dad's. <clears throat> well, love, I have asked, ma'am, if she would mind me coming out there. She said it would be all right with her, just so long as I came back. <laughs> But I haven't plucked up courage to ask. June. June? Yeah, at work. Oh, as I don't know if I can have my, have me off. But I will find out today for you and let you know in my next letter. Just one thing though, love. This one week you were on about. Do you mean you won't be there that week or what? 
and how do I get the money to come with as I will only be able to save so much and it won't be a lot so let me know yes love it would be nice for you to get promoted to Lance Corporal and I know that's what you want and I know you can do it so if I can help by coming out there I'll try my best you'll bet I will be in on the 18th I can't wait to listen to your voice again 18 mm. this is the 18th yeah. there doesn't it yeah. um, it was not that I didn't want to kiss you at the station but whenever I have met you your dad has been there or my mum and I thought they might not like it so I waited until later <coughs> you're sweet but I think I will have a poodle instead I'm only kidding the budgie will be lovely <laughs> that's about that's what Brian needs mastering or he will end up like Bobby but he's too tall and strong for me. I haven't had any more trouble with my hands, thank you. I have been out with my mum and she has been all right. She hasn't got on to me, love. In fact, she's been quite nice and she knows I miss you a very lot. And I'm thinking of asking her if I can come out there for good after I have had a holiday out there. How's that? I put in brackets. Pat could, Pat never could see that as my wife, she did not need a man's permission to live with me. <laughs> yeah. I love it when you call me pet. Oh, I love it when you call. I love it when you call. I love it when you call, but you never call at all. <laughs> um, good LP that. Yeah. Twelve steps was. and home by the feeling. I oh. bought I bought that that CD. It was mm. every track on it were brilliant. And then I bought one after that and it was rubbish. Yeah, it just didn't have the same impact, mm. did it? No. It sounds just well, as though I really belong to you in a special sort of way. I miss you so very much. I can't wait to be in your arms again and have your lips on mine. Now it's changed. And lay, and lay in bed next to you. Be safe with my head on your chest. <laughs> so, all gone now, that. <laughs> and your arms around me all I want is to make you happy and have you with me anyway love take care and have some fun because I love you and want you to be happy lots of love Pat <laughs> next one's from you it is Getting near. Getting near the end. Mm. There you go. Like that. So. Um. Hum hum. Hum hum. <laughs> so we're, we're still waiting. Well, we're not waiting for the envelopes. Mm, I don't think the books will come yet, do you? No, no, I'm not anticipating the books for a while. Mm. Um, haven't got a tape measure. The book will go in there. Will it? Yeah, the book will go in there, won't it? Looks bigger on there than it does. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I think it will. Mm. I thought you wanted them padded. 
Well, well, that's what they're designed for. Right. For sending books. Mm. Right. Sending books, of go. course. Stationery. Mm. So. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, hope so. Fifty of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's optimism for you, isn't there? Mm. Well, I never saw 50 books. <laughs> mm. Oh, well. Mm. So that's it. That's it. And that, oh, look, the sun's come out a bit. It has, hasn't it? Yeah, although it looks Most like, like it could rain. rain. <laughs> I know. Oh, that won't be typical. <laughs> yeah. Sun's out, but it's got a dark grey sky. That's weird. Well, I think my flowers are done, love. They shall have to go in the bin today, don't you? Right. Looking a bit droopy. Yeah, well. They've lasted well, well over 10 days. Anniversary's over. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> He's feeling unloved, don't you, love? <laughs> oh, I am. Dear. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow, folks. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.